we're on the Royal Princess and once again we're staying on Lido deck which we particularly like because on Lido deck we've got the pool which is behind me, big screen TV for movies and shows, we've got a couple of bars and we've got some great eateries and an ice cream bar. It's a great place to stay this deck, we really love it. So come with me, I'll show you our cabin. Just going to give you a quick look at our cabin. Like all cabins on the ships, we have an electronic entrance, which is handy because you'll be hands free. Come on in. So, just in here, we have our wardrobe. Look at that door. And as you see, there's plenty of storage, and we put a little hanging shoe rack in there just to keep things a little neater. And we chuck a little laundry bag in the back to hold our washing out of the way. So, we also have a cupboard. So we have plenty of shelving space and a safe, which is all routine on the ships. And you set your own alarm code, which is handy for you and documents like passports that you want to keep safe. Then we have our bathroom. Again, standard bathroom. It's a little bit better because the shower is slightly more roomy than on our last ship we were on. And it has a ledge there to put things on, which I particularly like. Our last bathroom was a little squeezy. Okay, come through. Oh, I'll just show you this full length dress mirror so when you get ready to go out at night or the day you can see how you look and this light here is a sensor light so during the day or at night that will activate just through motion so at night you can find your way around without falling. So the main bedroom part we have our side tables these both have a sensor underneath which is fairly standard on the ships now again motion activated so at night it lights up and you can find where you're going. The standard flat screen TV with lots of movie channels and TV shows so that's a good to have. Then over here, because we have the balcony, we have a little bit extra room with a desk, more drawers. You will need an adapter plug because it's an American ship, so that is an American an adapter we have in there. Then you've got your fridge with a nice big mirror, plenty of tabletop storage and shelving to the side. And the fridge is not a bad size. Oops. So it holds a few things in there nicely, just what you need really. And then we have our balcony. Now this is considered an obstructed balcony, but the obstruction is really minor in our opinion. And the obstruction we figured out has to be the tip of the bridge wing, which does cause us no problem. So looking for a partially obstructed balcony, this would be a good one to have. What we like to is the overhead roof. It gives us protection from the sun. If it's really, really sunny or it's really hot or there's a light drizzly rain, we can still sit out here and enjoy our balcony. So while it's a little bit small, it's still perfectly functional. And we're really happy with this level. We're on deck 16, which um, we particularly like. If you don't find movement as your thing, it might not be the level for you, but we're loving it actually. So that was our cabin. I hope you